Hello, I'm Gordon Richard with Comorgan and this is Two Minutes of Motion. In this video exercise, we will discuss how to define a variable with a specific dimension to allow for different expressions. This program will show you how to express a variable as an integer, floating point, non-volatile integer, string, and constant. Variables are typically a very important part of any program due to the fact that they are user-defined. When a user defines a variable to be included in a program, the dimensions must also be determined so the variable can be expressed properly. A variable is defined as an integer in order to express a natural number, meaning positive or negative whole numbers. A variable defined as float will express a real number with decimal values. A designation of integer NV is used to express that the variable is non-volatile, meaning its value will be retained after the program ends and power is turned off. If a variable contains alphanumerical characters, it is designated as a string along with the character length. Finally, a constant is defined when using a numerical or alphanumerical value that will not vary. In our program, we have variables a, b, and c, and color. Defined with different dimensions and a constant called pi for the value of pi. Our main program then performs a loop where a, as an integer, will increase by 1, b, as floating point, increases by pi, c, as a non-volatile integer, increases by 10, and color is expressed as a user-defined string input. Our program will then ask for a color input and print out the variable values along with the color. An if-then statement is included before the while when loop to set our non-volatile integer to zero when our digital input one is zero. In order to see how our non-volatile variables are stored in the drive's memory after the program is turned off, we can briefly stop the program and set digital input one high. When we run the program, we can see that the value of C has been stored while the others have been set to zero. It's important to note that once a variable is defined as a specific dimension, its value must always coincide with that defined dimension. For more information, check out other 2-Minute Emotion segments or sign up for one of our AKD Basic classes at www.comorgan.com.